Okay, in this lesson, uh, we're going to find the work required to pump the water out of the spout, uh, given uh, given that the tank is full and that tank has a radius of six meters and a height of two, uh, the height of the spout is two meters. All right, so uh, we're going to approach this in a slightly different way. In the, in the in example one, we put the axis in the center of the tank. In this case, or in this example, we're going to put the coordinate axis at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and draw those in. So I'm going to put the x-axis down here. And just draw in the y-axis here. OK. So I'm going to draw in the represented part. And that's going to have a thickness of delta y. Okay. Now going back to this idea with this represented piece, um, ex these are not. Um, so basically, the top circle has an, a smaller area than the bottom circle. Um, so, but remember, we're assuming in the long run, we're going to we're assuming that delta y is approaching zero. So the delta y is getting infinitesimally small. So in this case, the, we can assume that this is a very flat. Uh, we can assume that this is a very flat disk uh, with a infinitesimally small width. Okay. So we can assume that here. We can assume that for this case. Okay. All right. So we need, in order to, we need to find the first thing is that we need to find the incremental volume. Um, so we can go back, right, and this is, we're going to as assume, or we're going to use this as the radius. So that distance, okay, that's distance we're going to call, this is going to be some distance x. But I want x to be in terms of y, uh, because I'm integrating, right, because my I'm integrating in the direction of the y-axis. So we need to get a formula for uh, for this radius in terms of y. So to do that, we got to go back and realize, okay, we have to work with the equation of circle. Uh, because if we take a plane and intersect it through a plane, or I'm sorry, intersect it through a sphere, we're going to, that gives you uh, an equation of a circle. So the general equation of a circle, okay, is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals to r squared. Okay, so let's assume I take this plane and I slice it through this point, through the middle. So that middle point, that corresponds to where h is going to be 0 and k is going to be 6. Because the radius of the sphere is 6. Okay, so basically it's just a circle, right? We're going to find the equation of a circle shifted up by 6 units. Okay, so that's when x is equal to 0 y is not y sorry when h h is equal to zero and k is equal to six okay so that's going to give okay x minus zero squared plus y minus six squared equals two the radius at that right the radius at this point is six so that's going to be 36 so now this leaves you with x squared plus y minus 6 squared equals to 36. So solving for x, okay, we get the square root of 36 minus y minus 6 squared. Okay, so this, that's, that is going to be the radius in terms of y. Okay, okay that's this part. Okay, so now we can go ahead and find the incremental volume. So the incremental volume is going to be pi times the radius squared, which is over here. So that is the square root of 36 minus y minus 6 squared. Squared times delta y. Okay, so again, this is 
think of this as just uh, the equation of a circle, and then we'll multiply it by the width, which is delta y. Okay. So this is going to simplify to give you pi times 36 minus y minus 6 squared times delta y. Okay, so step two, we have the incremental volume. Now we need to find the incremental work. Okay, so the incremental work, oh, not incremental work, sorry, the incremental force. Incremental force is, again, just the incremental volume times the water weight. Okay, so that's going to be 9,800. I'll just put this first times 36 minus y minus 6 squared, okay, times delta y. Okay, so the next thing is we need to find the incremental work. And that is just the incremental force times the distance. Okay, so we have, so the distance here, okay, so the water level, or the water, I'm sorry, the, not the water level, the represent piece is a distance of y, we're going to see, right, so it's just a certain, it's a, it's a general distance above the x-axis, okay, so the distance that this is going, okay, so in the problem it says that we want to know how much work is done to pump water out of the spout. Okay, so this is a so the the represent piece is a distance of y. Okay, so if we count in, okay, so this is y, so that means it's going to be uh, we have to count to take the difference. So here the difference is going to be let's see, thirty. So we have fourteen. Yeah, so we have 6 and 6 because it raised to 6. So you have another 6 here and then 2. So that's going to be 12 and 2, which is 14. So the total distance is going to be 14 minus y. Okay, so. Oops. 14 minus y. Okay. So, okay, so we're going to get 9800 pi times 36 minus y minus 6 squared <coughs> times 14 minus y times delta y. Okay. So now we can find the, right, so the work, right, we can find the work, which is approximately the sum of the incremental work and remember if you take the limit of this sum that translates to the integral okay and that's just using Riemann theory so the total work is going to be the integral of 9800 pi times 36 minus y minus 6 squared times 14 minus y times, okay, delta y gets infinitesimally small, so that gives you a differential. All right, so the bounds, okay, because we place the coordinate axis on the bottom, 
the bounds are going to go from okay, 0 to 12. Okay, um, because again, this is a, this we're working with a cylinder with a uh, spherical tank with a radius of six, and we want to know how much water or how much work is needed to to empty this tank. So the bounds always the bounds always go back to the to the uh, feasible domain. Okay, and your so your slices are going from zero to twelve. All right, so integrating this result, we end up getting the same result we did in the last example. So 22,579,000 and 200 pi joules. Okay, yeah, so this approach was a lot more uh, difficult uh, just simply because the radius is uh, slightly in a more complicated form Okay. So sometimes it's just easier to place the coordinate in the middle um, you, and using the symmetry from there. Okay. But we get we do get the same result. Okay.